What's up, everyone? Hope you're having a fantastic new year. Just finished cooking. I wanted to make a video with a few corrections here. I didn't, uh, I haven't, haven't got a chance to make a video in a while, so I wanted to make one, and I thought, sorry. I thought, what should I make it on? How about some things that I'm wrong about? Um, so, I'll try to do them quick. Um, first, I was going to make this a live video, but unfortunately, it looks like you have to be... Um, looks like you have to have like a thousand subs before you can um, make a live video. I'm not actually sure why that is, so it's weird, but in a way, I'm not that um, loved. So uh, to get right into it, two things that, I'm, that I've been wrong about. Uh, number one, it, I was talking to Godless Engineer, and um, I may have mentioned this as well in my debate with Jim Majors, I just can't, it's been a long time since I've watch that but um excuse me but um so i mentioned a letter written by polycarp of smyrna to pope victor now it turns out that the name was like polycrates i think of ephesus and also i think uh irenaeus may have wrote a letter to pope victor but i could be wrong about that one that's just anyway um I just want to make that correction because I feel like, you know, that was misleading. But the reason why I did it was because a scholar who has written, I believe, two books on the early church. Um, he made a video talking about Polycarp's letter to Pope Victor. And uh, I think he may have misspoke there because um, his video is since deleted. So, because um, whenever I thought about this and I, and I found this the other letter... Um, I went back and looked, and it wasn't Polycarp. And I went back and looked at his video. Um, it was Polycrates, I think is the guy's name. I could be mispronouncing it, but it's something like that. So um, I went back and looked for the video, and it was gone. It was deleted. So maybe he was just mistaken, and it kind of confused me. Anyway, number two, things I was incorrect about. Um, so I have a unique... Um, I have a unique uh, method, argument, I guess, uh, to show that the Bible doesn't endorse slavery. And what I do is, well, I'm not going to get into the whole argument right now, um, but most of you guys already know it. But when people look at Old Testament slavery and then they come to the New Testament and they, you know, try and say like, well, the New Testament's no different, or it's the same thing, and they show, like, even when I show them, like, that it says, like, slave traders are, you know, unlaw uh, with the unlawful, with the um, liars and thieves and so on, they say, like, well, like, it doesn't matter because it still says slaves obey your masters, but then I point out that it's like, yeah, but it... It seems to me that, that that's not inconsistent, you know, depending on what you mean by it, right? And then I point to a actual verse in the New Testament era where they talk about slavery, which is like Matthew chapter 25, I believe, verses 14 and so forth, that talk about the parable of the talents. The parable of the talents was one I was getting confused and so the other night I talked, and I was just giving credit, I was talking to Dr. Josh, and I said, Josh, don't you think, even though my, uh, uh, my argument is kind of for, against the Bible endorsing slavery, is kind of a theological approach, don't you think that um, if successful, or if correct, it's successful? Um, and he told me, you know, he said something like, I would... Something like maybe I should revisit that passage, that one passage about um, the parable of the talents. And he was correct. I thought he was referring to another verse. 
um, another parable. But he actually turned out to be correct. So um, I just give a quick, uh, quickly what I was mistaken about, and then tell you what I, how I try to use that verse. So what um, I was saying that the slaves or servants, uh, doulos, in the verse were being paid talents of gold according to their ability. It says that they were given talents of gold according to their ability and that they were to reinvest it. I got this passage mixed up with another passage. Um, so I, I was wrong about that. And I want to give Josh credit for that and just say like, hey, look, I'm open to being wrong and I just want to, you know, let you guys know that. And then... Um, but but I do want to say that it still works for me, right? Because the only thing I need that passage for is to say that there is a difference between Old Testament error slavery and New Testament error slavery, right? So um, with that, what I would say now was just that if you're wanting to say that the Old Testament is this grotesque slavery and the New Testament, by the New Testament, you have the slaves... Um, basically doing the job of a day trader on Wall Street is investing funds and trying to uh, bring a profit. Um, I would say it's quite different, right? So, um, yeah, so that's, that's, the point still works, I think, but I just wanted to be up front and own up to my mistakes there and just kind of say that. And what I want to do is challenge you guys to, um, let us know about some things that you've been wrong on or mistaken about and own up to them and and let's 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 get this going and let's start this as like um a, a new challenge in the community you know something that we all can do and um to promote uh i don't want to say sportsmanship right but like to promote a, a helpful conversations and dialogues and just to admit and like clarify for people that listen so that they're not confused in um, making the same mistake based off of something you said. So anyway, uh, yeah, appreciate everybody checking this out. And um, I hope you're having a great new year. Um, apparently, I can't make live videos unless I have up to a thousand subs. So if you guys want to subscribe and you're seeing this video, um, you know, <laughs> sorry, one more thing. Um, so the other day we were in a chat and somebody was telling us like, man, you guys are talking about like a lot of in group stuff. Like we don't know any of these people and like any of the, like we're talking about ultra, like stuff that, that only the group, the insiders would know, right? Right. Like if I were to say, you know, well, well, you know, Dr. Josh's position on this and, and you know, um, math pig, what he says about blah, blah, blah. And you know, um, you know how um you know, just say like people from the community that we all know um praise and like all these different people right jesus is lord and, and sj and all and there's a lot I, it's you know there's a lot of people that just don't know anything about our community and sometimes i have to remember that because i'll give like a i'll give like I'll be talking like everybody knows who I'm talking about and what I'm talking about a lot of times. And sometimes I was in Nathan Orman's uh, room the other day and somebody was saying like, hey, there's so much in-group stuff here. Like, we don't, I don't have a clue what y'all are talking about. And some guy even mistake, mistaken me and Rob for atheists because he's like, man, you guys, this must be what it's like to listen to a bunch of Christians talk. For, uh, for The guy was like, I'm a Christian and listen to all this atheist in-group talk you know, is is um, weird for me. And they were like, no, actually Converse and Rob aren't atheists. They just, we have like this group, you know, like we all talk and anyway. So uh, I'm going to try and be better about stuff like that. And um, also I'm going to, I'm going to be putting out some videos pretty soon. I've got some really good ideas actually. Um, but everybody keeps asking about me, you know, I've had got a lot of messages and, and, people are adding me on Twitter and stuff like that so they just want to like know what, what am I up to and all that kind of stuff I'm gonna make a video update of like what's been going on lately and like all the different things that I'm up to because 
Um, I have a lot of stuff going on, so um, good stuff though, right? Highly blessed and highly favored. Um, but anyway, with that, I hope you guys are having a great start to your new year. And uh, if there's anything I can do for you ever, you just let me know and, and I'd be glad to do it. Thanks. See you guys.